Well, I'm deep into another shift, so once again, it's time for One Minute Medicine. I don't think I look as tired as last time, but my hair does appear to have adopted some sort of strange great wave of Kanagawa tsunami motif. And coincidentally, water is the theme of this video, because the reasons that you want to pee when you get into water are actually a lot more interesting than I had realised. People assume it's psychological, and indeed that does play a part. But the real reason is actually some quite cool physiology. The body regulates how much fluid you have on board in a very clever way, and part of that system uses bearer receptors, which are specialised cells which determine how high the blood pressure is in your arteries. On land, blood is distributed through the body, but as soon as you enter water, two things happen. Number one, the hydrostatic pressure of the water just pushes on your arms and legs, squeezing blood from your extremities towards your trunk. It's a bit like those sexy stockings you have to wear in hospital. And number two, the coldness of the water causes the blood vessels in your arms and legs to contract. Blood is a good way to lose heat, so the body restricts the amount of blood going to your extremities and preserves heat, but also directs blood towards the centre of your body. So the body interprets this sudden elevation in pressure, the bearer receptors as an increase in circulating blood volume, and in an attempt to compensate, tells you to take a tinkle. Now, just because you know the science, it doesn't mean that you can pee in the pool.